On today's episode of MECB News, get ready to tee off with Coach Bob Hawick as he takes us on a tour of the Mesquite ISD News Golf Facility. Then we explore how the Hollywood Swatter Strike is affecting the entertainment landscape of movies, TV, and streaming platforms. Next, we ask the question, what is your favorite lesson? An inside look into why many people like anime. Join us as we uncover the incredible features, benefits, and impact that the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce has their members and the community. Stay tuned only in MSCB News. Good afternoon, Mesquite ISD. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Luis Espino. And I'm LeBrenda Lockett, and you're watching MSCB Live, a show produced by MISD students brought to you live from the TEC studios. We'll bring you the top stories from throughout the district and take an inside look at what's happening in MISD. Let's get our, to our first story. The Mesquite Independent School District has just opened a brand new golf facility, and we just had a chance to sit down with Coach Bob Howick to get all the inside details. Let's hear what Coach Bob Howick had to say about the state-of-the-art golf facility. Hi, my name is LeBrandon Lockett and with MSCB News, and today I'm gonna to be with Coach Howick to talk about the new golf facility. Hey, golf's a great sport uh, for discipline because uh, you're gonna have a bad hole, just like in life, you're gonna have your ups and downs, so you gotta be able to uh, deal with any problem that comes up in life, you gotta deal with any problem that comes up on the golf course. And you just got to uh, forget about it and go on to the next hole in golf, or next golf shot. Hey, golf's a great sport because um, there's lots of golf scholarships available in college, especially for women. Uh, it's a great sport to learn. You're gonna be playing it for the rest of your life. It's a great lifetime sport. So how you handle problems that come up, you gotta be flexible and be able to adjust and, and deal with the problems. The new golf facility is a great uh, facility, especially for uh, days like coming up where it's going to be cold and rainy. We can go inside and hit on the simulators. Uh, we have a practice screen right outside here. So uh, if the golf course is closed where we can't go there, we can always come here and practice. And uh, what the kids are doing right now, they're actually practicing in, uh, in the room. I got a putting green set up. Golf is not easy, it's very hard. You got to have good hand-eye coordination. Most people think you can just pick up a golf club and and it's easy to hit a golf ball. It is not, it's very difficult. When you're out there, it's, it's just you and you gotta battle yourself, basically. Um, met a lot of good people. It'll help a lot, because um, a lot of these other schools don't have the facilities we have. It looks like the golf team is taking full advantage of their new and improved golf facility. My name is LaBrenda Lockett with MSCB News. Back to you. Now we know the latest about the brand new golf facility in Mesquite ISD. Let's switch our focus to Hollywood. The entertainment industry has been shaken up by the ongoing writer strike and it's affecting all of us. Our reporter dives into how this strike is impacting movies, TV, and the streaming industry. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to MSCB News. My name is Brian Hernandez. Our story today is about the Hollywood writer strike where we'll talk about why it happened the drastic effects it had, and what it means for the future of film entertainment, as well as how it affects us. The Hollywood Writers' Strike came as a result of negotiations between the Writers Guild of America and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers not reaching an agreement regarding demands such as higher royalties, safeguards against the use of AI, and better payments. Because of this, approximately 11,500 members from the Writers Guild of America would go on strike, which lasted almost five months and disrupted film and television industries across the U.S. This led to halts in writing work and production for many movies and TV shows, especially across streaming platforms. To what extent do you think the riot strike has affected film and entertainment overall? Um, so this is the latest strike. There's been some in the past. Most current one, I think it's important. Um, because it's setting the groundwork for how they're going to be able to handle negotiations in the future. Um, I think we're going to see some issues in the next coming months, the next year or two, with uh, getting products out because they were striking and, um, and then you also have the actors striking right now, so it's definitely going to have some effect on the entertainment industry. 
but overall it'll kind of settle itself out. Um, these strikes go in phases and they go kind of like a cycle. Anytime that there's a new form of media that comes out, you're more than likely going to see a strike. So we've had streaming become really popular and so that's kind of how this came about. In your opinion, what if any at all are some of the problems with the writer's strike? Problems with the writer's strike, mainly that it's affecting employment. Um, you have a lot of writers who are having to go without a job um, during the strike, but then a lot of people who work like on late night television shows who um, haven't been able to go to work because they didn't have a production to go and actually work on. Um, it's a little bit of an issue, I think, also with the kind of community at large when it comes to um, America and how we see the entertainment industry. Starting the effects, are they long term or short term? So I think you're going to see long term and short term. Um, your short term effect with the writing strike was like the late night TV shows. Um, they went dark so that they literally weren't on air and you had your daytime TV shows that were seeing that effect. Um, they're going to get back to normal here pretty soon as soon as the writers go back to work. Um, a lot of them are actually already starting to go back to work. But then you have your longer term issues where you have productions that are completely halted right now. Um, again, with the actors also being on strike, that's going to have some issues. And then you had some where um, the writing was maybe done, but then now the actors aren't wanting to work um, because they're striking. Or when they do come back to work, they're maybe tied to a different project. So it's going to be interesting to see the, how long until it all gets back to normal. As of November of 2023, the writer's strike has concluded. Its impact and effects becoming clearer by the day. However, the actor's strike continues as an agreement and ongoing negotiations is hoped to be reached. This has been Ryan Hernandez reporting for MSCB News signing off. And while the Hollywood writer's strike may be dominating the headlines, let's not forget the impact that our own high school experience has on shaping who we are today. Speaking of which, let's turn over to Demontre who shared with us his favorite lesson learned so far while at Mesquite High School. Hello, in today's interview today, I'm going to be talking about my favorite lesson taught in high school, who taught it, and why it's important. So what makes geometry interesting? Geometry is personally my favorite math to teach because it is not abstract, it's the concrete math. High school geometry is doing algebra but on shapes. So it takes what they learned in algebra one, that was they didn't really, it was kind of abstract, and it puts it on a physical concrete thing that they can understand. So I love teaching geometry because it unlocks algebra for a lot of students. So geometry can be applied to many careers and many real world scenarios. I mean, there's literally, we use geometry every single day. And if you go into any sort of field where you're building something or you are designing things, architecture, all of those fields really, really integrate geometry. And like I said, you don't just use it in a career, you use it every day in your life. So one of the biggest difficulties I have with teaching math and geometry is that a lot of students, they fear math and they, they are not confident in their math. And there's been a lot of um, damage done, in my opinion, about how they learn math. And so I have to undo a lot of the damage that was done and a lot of their fear of math. And I have to really get them confident and really get them willing to ask me questions and willing to take risks in my classroom. So the hardest thing for me as a upper level high school math teacher is undoing the damage that has been done before they got to me. I'm glad that Dr. May has inspired Ms. Bennett to become a great math teacher she is today. What math or important lesson has been taught to you? This is Demontre with MACB News. Back to the studio. As we just saw, Demontre highlighted the importance of inspiring lessons taught in high school. And speaking of inspiring, have you ever wondered why anime has a growing fan base upon teenagers? Well, Jacob Hughes went on the streets to find out. Take a look. Hello guys, I'm Jacob Hughes here with MSEB News. I'm doing a story about anime. Uh, why do I like anime? I believe it brings a closer connection with me and my brother. When we were really young and we shared the same room, you know, we used to watch anime till it was late on this channel called Tsunami, and it was on uh, Cartoon Network. Every Saturday, they would end up putting on new shows, 
like sometimes it would be Naruto, sometimes it would be Dragon Ball, and you know, we would just bond and talk and just have good times like that. I feel like it brings me closer to my brother as not just friends, but also family as well. And you know, it also helped me cope with a lot of things as it was able to be related to in a lot of the sense. Um, so if I was sad or I just genuinely bored, I would just go watch anime. And it's not like I can't enjoy other types of shows, that's not what I'm saying at all. But with anime, it helps a lot with those aspects of my life. And even though my brother is off to college, it allows me to just feel as though I'm right next to him in a sense. And so that's why I like anime. Sometimes the community can be a lot weird, a lot weird, uh, but that doesn't really bother me because I just tend to really stay away from that. And you know, it also adds conversation to some things. Like me and my friends, we watch anime, and sometimes I don't watch it as much as them or they don't watch it as much as me, but you know, sometimes we'll have conversations on the game or we'll have conversations in real life and we'll just talk about it. We'll talk about the fun moments, we'll have discussions, sometimes arguments, but mostly just discussions about, you know, some of the scenes, sometimes fights, sometimes story, and uh, that just, it just helps a lot, really, in pretty much almost every day. So that's why I enjoy anime. Thank you, Ethan, for your input, and now back to the studio. It's clear that the passion for anime runs deep among many high school students. Similarly, the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce is deeply passionate about supporting the local businesses community, offering a range of future benefits and impactful programs for their members. Here's his story. Welcome to the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce, where the community and local businesses come together to create a thriving economy. Our chamber has been an integral part of Mesquite for years, providing essential resources and support to businesses, both big and small. In this video, we invite you to learn more about our chamber and the incredible impact it has on our local community. Discover the features and benefits of becoming a member from networking opportunities and business promotion to educational workshops and advocacy efforts. The Mesquite Chamber of Commerce is committed to fostering growth, innovation, and success for all businesses in our area. Join us on this journey and see why our chamber is truly the cornerstone of our community. A Chamber of Commerce is a nonprofit uh, by businesses for businesses. It is a small business support system. We're here to advocate for your business and for your business growth. We're here to help out with the economic development in our community. And we are here to help market your small business to the, to the community of Mesquite. The Chamber of Commerce is what brings small businesses and the community together. As people that live in the city of Mesquite, they need places to shop, places to go, places to do things. That the Chamber of Commerce works with small businesses to give them opportunities and resources to be able to grow their business, to be able to appeal to their community and add more services. I would like to say that I joined the Chamber of Commerce because the U.S. Pres the president of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce suggested that we join the Chamber of Commerce, our local Chamber of Commerce, because we work from home. And when you work from home, a lot of people don't look at you like you are a legitimate business. But when you join the ch your local chamber of commerce, then people will see you as a legitimate business. They know that they can trust you and believe that you are a business. So a chamber of commerce is not part of your city government. This is one of the biggest problems that we often have is that people think that we're part of the, the city of Mesquite. We're not, we're completely independent non-profit organization here in Mesquite. Our goals are really to help small businesses grow. So you're not, um, you're, if you have problems with the city or the school district or you're trying to partner with them, we are the perfect vehicle to help you advocate. We've helped solve problems in terms of signage issues. We've helped uh, solve problems in terms of uh, code and enforcement. We're here to help you and help you advocate. And I just think it's important for people to know we are a completely independent nonprofit organization here to help your small business. In conclusion, the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce serves as a valuable resource for businesses in our community. By offering various benefits, services, and opportunities, the Chamber helps its members thrive and grow. Whether you are a small business owner or a large corporation, the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce provides a supportive community of like-minded individuals dedicated to the economic success of our city. So if you're looking to advance your business and connect with other local professionals, consider joining the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce today. For more information,
please visit our website or give us a call at 972-285-0211. We look forward to hearing from you. And that concludes our report on the Mesquite Chamber of Commerce. It's great to see the efforts being made by the local businesses to support and contribute to our community. Thank you for tuning in into another episode of MSCB News. And for more information on today's stories, please visit the MSCB YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages. Thank you for joining us today. I'm LeBrandon Lockett. I'm Luis Espino. Until next time. Stay curious. Stay informed. And, and stay, stay awesome, Mesquite. Thank you to our generous sponsors who have donated to our program. This has been a presentation of MSEB, Mesquite Student Entertainment and Broadcasting, in association with the Mesquite Independent School District Career and Technical Education Department.